So. Alright. Um. So, what was like the craziest thing that actually happened? That I've done. Yeah, or like the funniest thing. The craziest. Yeah. Was. Probably sneaking out and driving an hour. <laughs> I remember that. It's in town. Dang, I remember that you, like, drove all the way to, like... Shawnee. Yeah, Shawnee on Snapchat. Yep. Were you, like, yep. drunk or something? Like... No, it was alcohol. Jesus. Yeah. I'm kidding. It wasn't anything. I was just bored. <laughs> Jeez. All right, um... For me, oh, okay. So I remember, t- I remember this one time when I was like six years old. I lived in this city called Ponca City in Oklahoma, mm-hmm. and um, my brothers were uh, at my house for the summer, and they lived in Texas. And what happened was we all went to my elementary school because there was a big playground there, and they were building this building this new playground, right? Mm-hmm. And there's, like, this tar stuff that was, like, that was, like, in these buckets, and we were all playing around in it. Like, we were on the new playground that was newly built. Like, they were just almost finishing it. And they weren't there because it was, like, a Sunday. And we put the tar stuff on the new playground stuff, equipment. And it was, like all over the place like we were throwing it getting into our hairs and stuff and it was like it was so fun at the same time it was so messed up so we all went home got washed and didn't tell our parents about it and then like around eight o'clock the cops came to our house and then they were talking to my parents about what happened they were like so we saw your siblings your three brothers and your little sister came to the playground and I'm not in this elementary school I'm not gonna say it but for protection reasons but um and they were like we found this tar stuff they had an evidence bag of like this tar on it and they were throwing it around the place so our parents got mad and then the cops gave us two options either pay the fine which is like thirty thousand dollars or we can clean it up. So the next day, here's the thing: our brothers didn't. Uh, my older brothers didn't help because they had to go back to Texas the next day. Mm-hmm. And so it was me and my sister were picking it up through most of the summer. Our parents helped out just a tiny bit, but not as much because they were mad at us. And mm-hmm. boy, our butts was whooped, black and blue, literally, like. I couldn't feel my butt for like a whole week. Oh my god. <laughs> Domestic like, abuse? Just kidding. Well, not really, but like, I mean. Discipline. <laughs> but like, we had to pick it all up. It was so hot outside, too. Like, I was yeah. crazy. But I remember this one time that um, the school, one door was unlocked, and then I asked, yo, you guys want to get milk from the school? And then uh, my older brothers were like, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get milk. So they were like, but you have to go in because we don't know the way in. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, we want white milk and or chocolate milk. And I was like, okay. So I went inside. It was like the door was like right next to the cafeteria. And uh, I walked in. It was pitch black. So um, I had to go back to my house and grab a flashlight. And I went back in. And then, uh, the thing is, like, there was, the milk was still there, that they were in the freezer, and it was, like, a week, um, into the summer, so I grabbed, like, a buttload of milk, and just <laughs> ran outside with it, and just, uh, me and my older brothers were just chilling with milk and milk cartons in our hands and stuff, and <laughs> it was so funny, so... What was the most, like, funniest thing that ever happened to you? Um, that depends. I don't know. I don't know. Um, one time, at a football game, my brother's football game, 
<clears throat> I was doing gymnastics in like fifth grade and I was swinging on this pole and my leg landed in like a sewer drainage thing yeah. and I had to get rushed to a hospital but, and the nearest one was like an hour away and I had to get like eight stitches and I think that was probably the funniest thing because I laughed the whole way Jeez. I, I don't know <laughs> eight stitches? <laughs> Yeah, in my life, of course. Oh my god. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. I'm going to tell you the story about how I got injured. So, okay. when I was seven years old, I still lived in Ponca. Mm-hmm. And me and my older sister were just driving around on our bikes, cruising. And um, I stopped my bike because I went in the middle of the road. Because I saw something and I picked it up. It was like a dollar bill or something. I don't remember. Until I didn't even have a chance to look back until my sister (laughs) ran me over with her bike. Oh my god. Like, um, because I was like, hey, Lexi, look what I found. And then she ran me over, ran me over with her bike. Because she didn't have time to stop, so she was going really fast at this point, and just ran me over. <laughs> like, the way I landed, it was like, stomach first, and then my head just bumped into the freaking concrete. Oh like a little idiot. And I went home crying my butt off, and um, my mom and dad was like, what the heck happened? And I, and my sister I just immediately went into her room, and then they figured out by because I told them what happened. And then my dad was like, Alexis, get over here now. <laughs> and she got a butt whooping for it, too. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean. I was playing my brother. I was going to slide with my brother, and yeah. I was playing tag with all my siblings. Yeah. And then I got hit by a car, and I was tagging as my little sister was coming at us and we were hiding in a slide and so me and my oldest brother went down the slide and I broke my two fingers and I didn't know I broke them. Wait. Like, what? <laughs> For real? Yeah. I broke them at the like base and I had, a, I had to have a cast and my teacher didn't believe me that I broke my hand because at first I had like a wrap and then like two weeks later I had to get a cast. <laughs> Damn, that's like the like worst case scenario that your teacher does not believe that you broke something like yeah, bone wise. I was like, I broke my hand. I literally broke my fingers. Like I cannot do like it anything. Oh my god! I remember this one time. It was in the McDonald's slide. It was like before church. What before church? I hope that you prayed to God about that. Crap. No. <laughs> <laughs> My mom made me, or tried to make me go up to the front, so like, pray with me, and I was like, no, no, <laughs> not going to no. the altar. <laughs> <laughs> 